Just like 40% of the population, I'm an introvert. And so today, I'm gonna be telling you some of the things I've done as an introvert to try and make things less awkward, which usually make them more awkward. And with all that being said, let's get into this original video. <laughs> And just like any other original video about being an introvert, we're going to be starting off with Discord. Now Discord is something I've only just recently started using, and by recently I mean like the past year or so, basically when, since I've had a YouTube channel, because before that I've never really had a good use. I had an account before, and actually it was this same account, but yeah, I had an account before and I never really used it, mostly because I didn't know how to. And that's because I never really had like a social media before Discord. I feel like, I don't know, I count Discord as like sort of a social media. It's the closest thing I've ever had to one, so I just kind of treat it as one, and I've never had one before, and the reason before that is because I hate pings. There's something so infuriating about seeing that little red circle next to the app that you have a new message that you gotta go read and then respond to and then all that good stuff. And so to avoid that, I just choose not to read the messages. I, I just clear the pings. That, that's just that's just what I do. And it's a really bad habit of mine because I, I really should be reading the messages. Um, Die, sir. Thank you. Oh. That, that's the end of the game. So yeah, I just clear them and I have no good reason of why I do because a lot of the people that I get messages from are people I actually like to talk to and I probably should just actually respond to them because it's, uh, again, it's just a really bad habit I have that I don't respond. Uh, yeah, it's, it's it's not good. But that's not the worst thing. I actually kind of choose to stay away from Discord a bit, and not just Discord in general, but the entire internet sometimes. I don't know, it's just, I try and take a break from my phone, I guess, because I have it on me all day, 24-7, and I, I don't like having it on me. So whenever I'm just, like, home, I usually just leave it in my room so I don't have to look at it, and I'm not tempted to use it, because whenever I go on my phone, there's no actual good reason to be on it. I'm just on there, and then I'm looking at stuff that I really don't need to be and it's just a waste of time it's a big old waste of time and it's, it, I don't know I just I don't like being on it 24 7 and I don't know if that's really another example of me being an introvert or just me trying to stay away from technology but that's yeah that's just how I am but another good example of me being an introvert is the friends that I've had you see most of the friends I've had didn't stem from me like actively searching for friends or something like that it usually stemmed from either a friend of a friend or I'm trying to buy stuff, can you please stop? You're being really obnoxious, thank you. Either a friend of a friend or a really stupid reason. Like, I remember I had this one friend back in <laughs> elementary school, I guess, and we were friends for a really stupid reason. I think how we got to know each other, I'd always count them waiting for them to get off the swing, cause you know, kindergarten, that's, people. swings are fun, okay? And this was back in kindergarten, so, you know, I'd count him off the swing, cause he got like 10 seconds or 20 seconds on it, and I guess this was a way that they like kinda forced us to learn the numbers, which I guess sort of worked because, you know, math is cool. I like it a lot better than English. Maybe they should have had us repeat the alphabet instead of numbers. Then I'd be a lot better at English. But yeah, I count them off and I don't know, just somehow from that we became friends. And, you know, I mentioned before friends of friends is uh, definitely another way I've come across friends. But yeah, I'm not the one that's actively searching for friends, even though, you know, it's kind of nice to have a few every now and then. And you're about to lose this game. Great. There we go. I would say I'm pretty good friends with both. Bold. And the way I became friends with Bold is that he reached out to me and wanted to do a collab. So, you know, see, it's just another example of me not doing stuff because, uh, awkward introvert over here. Yeah. It's just weird the way things work out, but I, I guess things just work out in a way that's not me losing the game. Wow, okay, that's not the way things are supposed to work out. And whenever I find myself in VCs with people, I find myself not being the best at keeping conversations. It's it's not a strong suit of mine. It really isn't. It, it's never been. I mean, why do you think there wasn't a video last week? It's not the fact that I was lazy, it was just the fact that I couldn't keep a conversation with myself. Oh, it's a great combination of problems to have when you're trying to be a YouTuber. But all this stuff so far has been little stuff, you know? Nothing too big, something, you know, you hear from a time wasters video. Wait. Oh, that's why this video idea sounded familiar. But we're just gonna look past that, um, sorry time. Probably the most introverted thing I've done was not telling my parents that I had a YouTube channel. Well, actually, correction, I told them like a week ago. So, it, it, you know, I, di I didn't tell them for like 14 months. And I didn't really have a good reason not to tell them. It was just me being awkward as usual. That's kind of the way most things go. You know, I don't respond to Discord messages. It becomes awkward because I haven't responded to them. You stop a bed, sir. I'm going 
want to go break that. But yeah, I waited like 14 months before I told him. Uh, nothing awkward about that. Uh, my life is so awkward. Just like this recording. I just walked into the void because I forgot to stop holding W. But yeah, there's no good reason for me not to tell them. I just decided not to. So I kind of been doing this whole YouTube thing for over a year in secret, which I mean, probably wasn't the brightest idea, but it, it, it seems to have worked out. It, it just got a lot more awkward over time as, you know, I gained a few hundred subscribers. That's, that's, that's an accomplishment that I kind of kept hidden for a while. 